Brand new fallout now, a day after Homeland Security warns airlines to be on the lookout again for shoe bombers. Despite all of us having our shoes examined even more and more by the TSA, will the new crackdown actually make us safer? Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst, is here with his thoughts and a little bit of a chuckle <laughs> because you know I love the laugh, but the bottom line is there's no way in H E double L hockey sticks that you believe this is going to make us safer, no, right? No, I think the TSA is basically an illusion designed to give us the appearance of safety. Look, the same mentality that runs the TSA runs the rest of the government. They can't collect, they can't deliver the mail, they can't collect taxes, they can't tell the truth. They don't keep us safe. They haven't stopped a single terrorist from boarding a single plane in the United States of America that we know about. And you know, if they had, they'd be boasting about it. They, they, the TSA, let on board the underwear bomber and the shoe bomber. Well, so here's the thing. We would now assume, as it was just starting to maybe dwindle that they were looking at our shoes more and more, now they're going to ramp it back up, right? Uh, I, I, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They have received from intelligence communities credible information that somebody out there with the present apparent ability to do so has threatened to put some nut on a plane ready to explode his shoes and kill everybody. Here's the problem with the TSA. When they fail, they get richer. When they fail, they get more TSA agents exactly. and more budget money. Well, you say that the TSA has doubled in size and budget since George W. Bush. But here's the other really interesting thing that you're proposing. And it has to do with taking the power away from the TSA and giving it back to the airlines for so-called private security measures. How would that work? Well, it would be a lot more efficient. It would be a lot more user friendly. And you could choose the level of security that you want. Right now, if the TSA fails, they get more money from the federal government. If the people who have the most to lose, the owners of the airplanes, fail, their loss is catastrophic in terms of the lawsuits, in terms of the loss of business, in terms of the destruction of their investments. Think about it. The government intervenes with a private business at its most critical relationship to its customers when they're boarding the, the, the planes of the, of the owners of the, uh, of the business. Well, so how, how, do, how would that work then? Let's say United Airlines, American Airlines, JetBlue. For the first good thing is that there'd be no civil liberties issue because the Fourth Amendment only regulates the government. It doesn't regulate United Airlines and, and uh, Delta. So United and Delta would say, here's the strict line. We're going we're gonna to search you for everything and you'll be on the safest plane. Here's a line that's not so strict. Here's a line that's pre-screened. Freedom of choice, you choose the line that you want, you choose the plane that you Chances want. Chances of that happening? None. Government will never <laughs> give up the power. All I right. hope they're listening to us Well, now. it's a fascinating idea, and of course, you're smart enough to bring it to oh, us. Oh, you're very Judge, kind. Judge, great to see you. Good to be with you.